this time we're going to have music. And here's why. See, this is what I don't get. Elder Scrolls are in books, but not in scrolls. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Say how do we agree? Today Alduin's lordship will be restored. But I honor your courage. Kreefolf Akrim. Die now in vain. For Sky! Have you no thought beyond the blooding of your blade? <laughs> what else is there? The battle below goes ill. If Aldun does not rise to our challenge, I fear all may be lost. You worry too much, brother. Victory will be ours. Why does Aldun hang back? We've staked everything on this plan of yours, old man. He will come. He cannot ignore our defiance. And why should he fear us, even now? We blooded him well. Four of his kin have fallen to my blade alone this day. But none have yet stood against Alduin himself. Both Sorin and Dirko. They did not have Dragonrend. Once we bring him down, I promise, I will have his head. You do not understand. Alduin cannot be slain like a lesser dragon. He is beyond our strength, which is why I brought the Elder Scroll. Feldir, we agreed not to use it. I never agreed, and if you are right, I will not need it. No, we will deal with Alduin ourselves, here and now. We shall see soon enough. Alduin approaches. So be it. Let those of that watch from Southern Guard envy us this day! Be gone, world eater. 
by words with older bones than your own. We trick your perch on this age and send you out. You are banished. We shout you out from all our endings unto the last. Mitri. You are banished! It worked. You did it. Yes, the World Eater is gone. May the spirits have mercy on our souls. I sincerely thought the music was going to go. Not uh, when the sounds like 80 year old graybeards singing when you learn to shout, but actually listening to the music. Didn't work, so sorry about that. Didn't want to say anything though, because that was a moment. Remember that, Oliver? I bet you do. Juggle thing right here. Have a breath, much? You cannot prevail against me. I will outlast you, mortal. No, you won't. Hmm. Angir or Esbern? This is a tough choice. Hmm. I used to dream of it. In the dream I was standing someplace high up, a tower or a mountain. It was always just before dawn, and the whole world was in darkness. Then came the flash of light just on the horizon. Let's move faster. The sun is... Let's not move this. It could have been lightning, but there was no thunder. In the dream, the sense of foreboding grew. I could never wake up. Then it came again, this time more distinct, closer. Definitely not lightning. Now it was orange, brilliant orange, the color of hearth and dawn, and a sound too, distinct and indistinct, 
not thunder, something else. Something uh, I should recognize, but in the dream I cannot place it. I want to leave my high place to seek shelter from what I, I don't yet know. In the manner of dreams I cannot escape. I'm forced to wait and watch. Then finally, Rocks realization and, and horror arrive together. Places. The orange is, is flame, he. The sound, the roar, a challenge in their ancient tongue. And now it's too late for escape. The dragon is upon me, fire and darkness descending like a thunderbolt. And not just any dragon, but the dragon, all to it, the world eater, the dragon who devours both the living and the dead. And then I would wake up and hope that it was just a dream, but know that it was not. This land feels twisted. I'm surprised my father didn't want to live out here. Did you find the Elder Scroll? What happened when you took it back to the throat of the world? I defeated Alduin, but he escaped. I need to find him. He must have returned to Sovngarde to feed on the souls of the dead. If you don't find him soon, he'll return stronger than ever. I know. That's why I need to find him. Uh, Yes, yes, we must think. He must have some means of travelling to and from Songard, but no tale tells where that might be. His dragon allies might know where this portal is. Very true. I wonder, do you know the Jarl's Palace in Whiterun? Yes. Yes. Exactly. Most people don't know that it was originally built to hold a captive dragon, hence its name. So, if I could lure a dragon into Dragon's Reach... You could trap him there, exactly. Thanks. Although, it might be difficult to persuade the Jarl to allow you to use his palace as a dragon trap. I'm sure you will manage, though. If you can defeat the World Eater, surely sweet-talking the Jarl of Whiterun isn't beyond you. I'm afraid there's a further problem, a serious one. I've discovered who the Greybeard's leader really is. Turns out he's a dragon, but he helped me. All well and good, but did you know that he was Alduin's chief lieutenant in ancient times? Responsible for terrible atrocities. It's true that his crimes are long in the past, but justice does not count for the passage of years. The Blades have been hunting him for centuries, but he was protected by the Greybeards and then the Emperors. Justice demands that he die for his crimes. Until he is dead, I'm afraid my oath as a Blade prevents me from offering you aid and comfort. Holding a grudge equals holding hatred. Do you have heavy hatred in your heart? So much to where you think that all of the years ago should not just be pushed over the edge and forgive and forget? Are you so puffed up that you want him dead even now? Why? That's all. Hmm? So, oh, I'm sorry, guys. I need your help to trap a dragon in your palace. I must have misheard you. I thought you asked me to help you trap a dragon in my palace. <laughs> <laughs> you know I wouldn't be asking if it wasn't important. Of course. You already saved Whiterun from that dragon. I owe you a great deal, but I don't understand. Why let a dragon into the heart of my city 
when we've been working so hard to keep them out. The threat is worse than you know. Alduin has returned. Alduin, the world eater himself. But how can we fight him? Doesn't his return mean it's the end times? It's only hopeless if we give up. I didn't say anything about giving up. Now what's this nonsense about trapping a dragon in my palace? It's the only way to find Elduin before it's too late. I want to help you, Dragonborn, and I will. But I need your help first. What do you think the Imperials would be doing while this dragon is busy slaughtering my men? No, I can't risk weakening the city while we are under the threat of enemy attack. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. What if you didn't have to worry about any enemy attack? Then I would be glad to help you with your mad dragon trapping scheme. Mm -hmm. But getting both sides to agree to a truce will be difficult at this point. The bitterness has gone too deep. Maybe... What are the Greybeards? They are respected by all Nords. High Hrothgar is neutral territory. If the Greybeards were willing to host a peace council, then maybe Ulfric and Tullius would have to listen. Yes. Leave that to me. I'll speak to Ander about hosting a peace council. Aye, Dragonborn. Maybe you can stop the dragons and this war into the bargain. Don't worry. Be happy. And I I've been looking for you, Tom. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. I have a letter here from Quintus Navale in Windhelm. He said it was urgent. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Be glad you're here in the city and not out in Riverwood. Those poor sorts don't even have a wood. I guess this can wait. If he says it's urgent... This is a game changer. Quintus. Qu Hold up. Okay. Qu Quint. Quint. No. Quintus. Quintus. Where is. No, it's not it. Stop. Oh. Change of plans. Since I'm going there, I'll say stay frosty and bid nope. you farewell. Sorry, nothing. Have a good one. White Run once again belongs.